When is a fraud not a fraud? No, this isn't a joke. It's actually a real question. It's when it's a fraudulent transfer. Hi, my name is Scott Goldstein. I am a bankruptcy attorney. I practice in New York and New Jersey. And I'm going to talk to you very briefly today about one of the more confusing things that can happen when you as a non-bankruptcy uh, participant, so someone who has not filed for bankruptcy, gets told that all of a sudden somebody wants money from you because of a quote, fraudulent transfer. What that means is that you have received money from someone who is now in bankruptcy within a certain period of time, usually two years prior to the filing of that bankruptcy case, though it may be as many as six years ago, depending on your state statute. And that transfer was made when the person was already insolvent, meaning they were already on their way down. I've seen this happen in several cases. Oftentimes it will involve the transfer of maybe a property from a parent to a child when the parent didn't realize things were as bad as they were. It is a serious thing, however. If you have received a demand for payment of what a trustee has asserted is a fraudulent transfer, it is not something you should handle on your own. There are defenses, there are ways to deal with it, but it is certainly not something that a lay person can do on their own. I have watched people try and it has not been pretty. If you have gotten that kind of a notification, please reach out to me or another bankruptcy attorney. My name is Scott Goldstein, and I look forward to helping you.